Okay, folks, welcome back to another budget gem or budget bust. And today I have got a audio pipe uh, four channel amplifier. Uh, I've done a bunch of the uh, monoblocks, and of course, I did have the one APCLE uh, 4150 from Audio Pipe that went up on smoke on the dyno uh, on me. So we've got another four channel here. Uh, this is of the Atme series, which has been really really good values in the budget arena uh, this one I picked up for just about ninety dollars and it promises um, just about uh, 80 watts by four at four ohms so uh, we're gonna see if this can compare with some of the best values you can find in a four channel uh, we're gonna unbox this and strap it up to the trusty amp dyno and just see what kind of value audio pipe really gives us for our 90 bucks so um, let's just jump right on into it okay opening her up and first thing we get here is the product registration and owner's manual let's see how much power they state is in this and in the court of the owner's manual we have got uh, four channels at 4 ohms at 78 watts, uh, 2 ohms 117 watts per channel, and bridged uh, 2 by 250 watts. And that is all at, uh, it doesn't say what level of distortion, but you know, could be certified, you know, which is 1% THD, could be uncertified up to clipping, I don't know. We shall see. And of course here, Yeah, I don't know how often you're going to use a base knob with a four channel, uh, but this is a nice remote gain. I will say, Audio Pipe does some of the nicest feeling base knobs you can find out there. Really, really nice potentiometer in here. Really cool looking, and of course, all metal. It's not. This is not embarrassing to have in your ride at all. And well, other than the amplifier, that's it. And this is a tiny, tiny amplifier. I mean, you can see, this is my hand. It stretches all the way across. Granted, I have a, I'm a above average sized individual. Uh, it, but this is also a class AB amp. So for those of you who used to always rock class AB four channels back in the 90s, in the early 2000s, if you did a four by 80 amp back then, it was class AB. It's easily triple or four times this size so that's really good um yeah of course the standard audio pipe at me look so i mean if you're used to that you got here uh one thing that is unique under here you know there's a fan and this is the bottoms where your settings so we'll jump into that here in just a minute Along this side of the amplifier, we find our power and ground input terminals, as well as our remote input, um, as well as our fuses. So, this is pretty basic along this side. You have eight gauge for both your power and your ground over here. And this is probably a 10 or a 12 gauge there. You definitely can't fit any more than an eight gauge in. And uh, these are just a pair of 25 amp ATC fuses. So, nothing really special here, but you know, 50 amps and fusing is probably what you want to see on an amplifier of this power range. Along this side of the amplifier we find our, our uh, speaker output terminals as well as our RCA inputs. Um, you can see here we've got about 10 to 12 gauge outputs for all the speakers and it, it does take up a lot of real estate with them just doing this straight across here. I would have liked to see them do tool level and then try to put the settings up here. As you can see we haven't talked about where the settings are on this amp yet, other than maybe that brief bit in the unboxing. Um, these are just standard, your front and rear RCA inputs. There is nothing on here to select um, uh, two channel mode, so you do have to plug in all four RCAs. And of course here, this is, a, this is kind of different, but it's a nice connection for your remote gain. Um, it uses a pin style here, will be nice and secure versus a 3.5 millimeter plug. And along the bottom of the amplifier, you can see here, I know it's tough to see, I'll kind of zoom out a little bit. So over here is where you find 
Uh, on the bottom plate, this is where they put the fan. So you have a fan right here, as well as all of our settings. So you can, of course, um, select between, you know, if you want to have a full range, flat crossover, a high pass or a low pass filter, uh, same both front and rear. Um, you have adjustable gain front and rear here. Um, your high pass filter is adjustable from 50 hertz to 1.2 kilohertz. So if you want to run some mids um, or you want to go up to tweeters, I don't know if I would really do that in the high pass at 1.2. I'd probably cross a little bit higher, but that's me personally. Your low pass filter is adjustable from 500 hertz down to 50 hertz. And you have base boot switches both front and rear for 0 dB, 6 dB, or 12 dB, both front and rear. And as I said, normally just leave those off. Leave them off and you'll be fine. Okay, nothing left to do here but to strap up the audio pipe APMI 4080 to our trusty amp dyno and find out just how much power this little amplifier produces. Um, is it <laughs> is it accurately rated like the APME 2000? Or is it a bust like the APCLE 4150? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, final thoughts here on the audio pipe at me 4080. I mean, this thing's a freaking steal. So yeah, definitely a budget gem. Um, you saw there we almost got 100 watts per channel at four ohms. Um, I know we did a bridge test, so you have to divide the number in two um, for the channels and of course the watts, but we have about that 95, 96 watts uh, per channel certified, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this thing is underrated and for 90 bucks this thing might be the best value for under $100 for a four channel you're gonna find. Um, I would put this up against the dual XPR84 is the best uh, four channel budget amp under 100 bucks um, for sure. Um, head to head I still might say the dual might be a little tad bit better only because I know it's less watts but I don't think it has the heat issues I mean this one they clearly um, put a band-aid on with this big old fan on the back and let's face it I mean it is a lot easier setting up the dual than this in the car but if you want a little bit more power this is the one to go with so nice job audio pipe don't overlook this one folks I mean 90 bucks freaking steal so that's it for me I got a lot more amps to test I'm still in the middle of moving that's why this is filmed in a hotel instead of my normal uh, test bench so I'll see you next time folks